Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Have a good time, my dear students, and welcome to lesson number ten. In this lesson, we will talk about compact discs. Let's do the first practice, practice number A. The pictures show four ways of listening to recorded music. Match the names from 1 to 4 to the pictures from A to D. We have on the left vinyl record, number 2, cassette tape, number 3, compact disc, number 4, mp3 player. And on the right we have four pictures, number A, B, C, and D. So, here are the answers. The first picture is vinyl record. The first picture is vinyl record. And the second one, number B, is cassette tape. Number C is an MP3, MP3, and number D is compact disc. Now, number B, work in pairs, discuss these questions. What are analog and digital systems? What are the differences between the ways of listening to recorded music in exercise number A? Number three. What are the advantages and disadvantages of each? Here we can see the answers in front of us. The first one, what are the uh, what are analog and digital systems? What are analog and digital systems? An analog system depends on a signal that's stored. For example, on the record or on magnetic material on a cassette tape. A digital system stores information in the form of digital code, i.e. in 1S and 0S. Number 2. What are the differences between the ways of listening to recorded music in exercise number A? A record is a, is a vinyl disc which is placed on it's placed on a turntable the signal is picked up with a needle a cassette tape consists of a narrow tape in, inside a case a compact disc is a disc on which sound is stored digitally and read by a laser beam an mp3 player is device it's a device you can play mp3 files on number three what are the advantages and disadvantages of each modern vinyl records have excellent sound quality but they are large and easily scratched they also collect dust. Yeah, cassettes can produce a lot of background noise. Hiss. But they are small and easy to store. Compact discs give, give very good sound quality. They don't scratch easily. MP3 players are small and can easily taken by anywhere. Let's move to number C. Read this ex uh, extract from a lecture given by Dr. Al Suwaidi, 
explaining how compact disk is read, label the diagram below with words from the extract. <coughs> yeah, I will read the text. There are two ways of storing information, analog and digital. Records and records and most audio tapes use analog recording. CDs use digital recording. Look at this diagram and use and you see how digital recording is read in a CD player. At the bottom of the diagram you can see the compact disc. This is a plastic. This is a plastic disc containing a thin metal like layer. The digital code is recorded onto the surface of the disk in a series of bits. These bits are microscopic holes, very close together. A bit is one and no bit is zero. This pattern of bits, the code, is read by the laser which is at the top of the diagram, the laser sends out a beam which is focused by the lens and concentrated into the tiny holes on the surface. The laser light is then scattered by the pattern of pits, which there are pits where there are pits the sound is scattered differently from areas where there are no pits. This sequence represents the sound in formation. The scattered light from the surface of the disk is reflected by this mirror. The mirror reflects the light which is then picked up by this photo detector. The photo detector sends the signal to microprocessor. The microprocessor converts the signal to sound which can then be played through speakers. As the surface of the disk is read by a light beam, the surface doesn't become damaged with use. Unlike a record and dirt on the surface of the disk is not a problem. Yeah. Here we can see the answers, number one, here, two, three, four, five, and six. So all of the information are cleared here in this diagram. Practice number D. Work in pairs, find out the answers to these questions, then write a program or paragraph sorry, in your notebook as an encyclopedia entry for a CD-ROM. Number 1. What does the abbreviation CD-ROM stand for? 2. How does a CD-ROM work? What is it used for? Here are the answers. What does the abbreviation CD-ROM stand for? It stands for Compact Disk. Compact Disk Read Only Memory. You can see the first letters of these, this phrase C D R O M. So it stands for Compact Disk Read Only Memory. Number two, how does a CD-ROM work? Here you can see the picture in exercise number C to know how a CD-ROM works. 3. What is it used for? It's used to store files. It's used to store files. Now let's move to our workbook to do exercise number A. Exercise number A says, you are a friend 
Miss Dr. Swaidi's lecture from exercise number C on course book page number 75. Write a, write a note reporting to your friend what Dr. Swaidi said. Use the prompts below and the phrase in brackets. Number one, I am sorry, I don't have copies of this diagram. If you want to make Reporting speech, we can say, Dr. Aswadi apologized, so he was sorry he didn't have copies of this diagram. Number two, I will bring copies next week. He promised, Dr. Aswadi promised that he would, he would bring copies the following week. Three, there are two ways of storing information, analog and digital. He explained that there were two ways of storing information, analog and digital. Number four, compact disks aren't damaged by dirt. Dr. Swaidi claimed that compact discs weren't damaged by dirt. And finally, number five, read units four and five of your physics textbook. Ask. He asked us to read units four and five of our physics textbook and eventually reaching at this point my dear students we can close we can conclude this lesson so study it hard and don't waste your time thank you for being patient and goodbye